everyone. You must have heard a lot about data science from many people stating, let's say it's the hottest job of the 21st century or there's a huge demand for data scientists in various industries, right? But we can bet that no one would have told you the things about data science which we are going to discuss in this video. So here IntelliPad brings you guys 10 things that you really don't know about data science. So let's explore it. So to become a data scientist, you don't really have to necessarily possess a degree or a PhD in data science, exactly. Though it is important for you to know the fundamentals of analytics, since you need to have the capability to work on analytics tools and understand the basics of data processing to get started. You also need to understand how a data science project lifecycle works and how to design your model to fit into the existing business framework. So these are some of the things that you will need to know to succeed as a data scientist. So do you know guys, that every company has a distinct approach to data science, exactly. It's completely impossible for you to know everything in data science. So what would help you will be the knowledge of some of the universally recognized and adopted technologies in the area of data science. So it's important for data scientists to have the knowledge of statistical analysis which would help in making sense out of the data and drive insights. So it's extremely important to know advanced programming as data scientists will be involved in working on complicated algorithms based on machine learning and data analysis. Then it is also required to have hands-on experience on languages like R and Python. And it is necessary for data scientists to have knowledge of big data tools and frameworks like Hadoop, Hive, etc. It also includes having knowledge of big data visualization tools, just like Tableau, ClickView, etc. And let me tell you another fact about data science. So data is never clean. Yes, analytics without real data is mere a collection of hypotheses and theories. So data helps to test and find the right suitable solutions in the context of the end users. However, in the real world, data is never clean. Even the organizations which have well-established data science centers for decades, their data also is not clean. And apart from missing all wrong values, one of the biggest problems refers to joining multiple data sets into a coherent whole. And because of this, a large portion of data scientists' time will be spent in just cleaning and processing data for model consumption. So if you cannot do this with equanimity and focus on big picture, then perhaps you should aim for research in statistics and rather than a career in data science. Yes, that's true, my friends. Now, since data is not clean and requires quite a lot of data processing, there is no ready set of scripts or buttons to push to develop the analytic model. So that's the reason why there is no fundamentally or fully automated data science, as each data and problem is different. So there is no substitute for exploring data, testing models, and validating against business sense and domain experts. So depending on the problem and your prior experience, data scientists need to get their hands dirty to find solutions. So here, the only exception could be if you get data in a specific format and keep doing the same thing over and over. But don't you think that this would actually become so boring for you, isn't it? Well, let's move ahead. So do you know guys that no one really cares how data scientists create models, exactly. As the consumers of data science models are decision makers and executives who don't bother about how you create models. What they want is a workable and useful model. So while it's tempting for data scientists to explain their technical expertise behind the model and show off the analytic rigor, this is often counterproductive. This is to say, that data scientist's audience would only care about the outcome and end use and would not really bother about the decision engine data scientists have put together. So be ready guys to handle your this sort of emotions. And then another thing that you won't be knowing about data science is that just because the analytic model is great, it does not mean that it will see the light of the day. Exactly, that's true my friends. As there are many factors which are influencing it. The analytic project gets shelved for various reasons all the time, including data changed, problem changed, no one interested in the solution, or implementation too expensive, etc. So in such a situation, be calm and carry on if you see that. 
And if even one third or more of your work getting implemented or used, then consider yourself really lucky one. Exactly. So do you know guys that machine learning and data science can work hand in hand? Yes. As we know that machine learning is the ability of a machine to generalize knowledge from data. So without data, there's very little that machine can learn. So in near future, the increase in usage of machine learning in many industries will act as a catalyst to push data science to increase relevance. So machine learning actually is only as good as the data it is given with and the ability of the algorithms to consume it. So going forward in the near future, basic levels of machine learning will become a standard requirement for data scientists. And that is why we say that both the technologies actually go hand in hand. Let's go ahead then. Did anyone tell you guys that IoT is the latest technology that contributes to data science to a significant level? Yes, that's true. Well, IoT refers to the ecosystem of devices connected to each other via internet. Let's say smart homes, smart watches, health gears are all part of the IoT ecosystem. So data science is very closely associated with IoT because IoT is all about data generation and data science is all about analyzing it. So on becoming a data scientist, you'll also be updating your skills enough to be part of this next big tech revolution that is IoT. Now, do you know guys that with the expertise in data science, you can actually start your own startup. Sounds quite exciting, isn't it? So here you can simply focus on fields or industries where poorly informed decisions are currently being taken due to the lack of better alternatives. For example, you can simply start a data monetization business. Perhaps the most obvious way of monetize the data is simply to sell it to other organizations which are in need of organized and insightful data. Well, this was my idea. But if you learn data science, you can simply start your own startup with your own idea. How about it? Now, let's go ahead. So more than learning data science, what is more effective is practicing it. That's why it is said that practice makes a man perfect. So if you intend to take up a data science course, make sure that your course offers many projects, case studies, and enough real-time data sets to work on. So more than theories, it's all about hands-on experience because your hiring manager will be looking for someone who can not only analyze data, but can also advise on selecting the right business problems to the solutions and how one should actually use their big data. So they need to have a solid understanding of the industry workings and the impact of insights on business decisions. And that can come only with practice. And with this, if you also feel excited about data science and you want to, you know, enter in data science domain, then Intellipad brings you a training program which will gain you proficiency in data science. Here you will work on real-world industry-based data science projects with R, Apache Spark, Deep Learning, Tableau, Data Science with SAS, Hadoop Developer, and many more. And with this, we come to the end of this video. I hope this video was quite informative for you. And thank you so much for watching this video and giving us your precious time. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us anytime. I hope the video was informative for you. Please like the video. And if you have any doubt, comment below. We shall respond to it at the earliest. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more detailed information, visit our website now. Have a great day and career ahead.